Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. In this video, we're talking about the build 26200.5516. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and what is fixed in this latest build for the dev channel. As a short recap, for all those of you who don't know, the new build number 26200 is basically the build number that will test out new features and new changes that will most likely be part of Windows 11 25H2 later this year. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, talking about new AI features for Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft is improving Windows Search and they are introducing semantic indexing along with traditional indexing. And this is basically a new way of searching. You can describe photo or a document and AI will help you find that document. That also applies to settings. You're gonna see something from Phantom of Earth to showcase that. And with this updated Windows search, you can also find photos saved in the cloud. And again, you can search for photos in the cloud using a simple description and not a file name. Related to Narrator, Microsoft is also introducing speech recap in Narrator. And this is just basically a history feature, which will help you keep track of what Narrator has spoken and it will provide you quick access for a quick reference. Also, as spotted by Phantom of Earth on Twitter, there's also a new hidden feature for Copilot Plus PCs related to Narrator, the Narrator's AI-generated image descriptions with a visual assist. And you're going to see a quick showcase of that. And yet another new AI feature is click to do that can perform intelligent text actions in certain languages. You can create bulleted lists and a lot more. Of course, about all these AI features, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post if you want to find out more information. Now talking about general availability for all users, Microsoft is now previewing a new and more streamlined UI for the unexpected restarts, basically blue screen of deaths and green screen of deaths. But you're going to see that the blue screen of death is no longer a thing. We now have only two variants, the dark one and the green one. And this is basically changed to better match the Windows 11 design principles with a more simpler design. They removed the smile emoji, also the QR code, and it actually shows way less information inside these new BSODs. Related to the Copilot app on Windows, Microsoft is now launching the Windows Plus C shortcut that you can use to launch Copilot on your computer. Of course, you can then personalize it if you are on a first startup and you have Copilot opened up really easily. And of course, don't forget about the new press to talk feature, which is Alt plus spacebar, which you can use to start a conversation with Copilot. You can also personalize this by going into settings, personalize, and then text input. And if you scroll down, of course, you're going to see the option to customize the Copilot key on your keyboard. And of course, you can customize what this shortcut does, Windows plus C, you can open apps and you can do certain actions. But of course, you have to have a license and Windows 11 activated in order to be able to customize this. There are also different changes for Windows share. For example, when you're trying to share a link or a web content using the Windows search window, you'll now see a visual preview for that content. And also for photos, if you try to share a photo, you're going to get a new edit button, which will allow you to quickly edit a certain photo. And it only works for supported image formats, .jpeg, DIB, PNG, TF, TFF, and BMP. And of course, when you click on edit, you're going to be able to edit your photo by applying certain adjustments, filters, markups, and more. Basically the same things that you have in the Photos app. But I think this is a great addition that can quickly allow you to edit a photo and this will not override the original file, we'll just edit it for sharing purposes. Another pretty interesting change from Microsoft is that they are removing the bypass and row.cmd script from the build to enhance security and user experience of Windows 11. This will ensure that all users exit setup with internet connectivity in a Microsoft account. Fortunately, as found by Phantom of Earth on Twitter, you can still bypass the network requirements in OOB by just setting that D word into the registry editor yourself. So you're gonna have more info about that on Phantom of Earth's Twitter account if you want to look that up. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. First of all, related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue where the taskbar icons were increasing in size as they should when using your PC in tablet posture. Also related to the file explorer, Microsoft did some work to improve the performance of extracting zip files in file explorer, particularly in the case where you're unzipping a large number of small files. Fix an issue causing file explorer to be very slow to close for some insiders when closing using the X button. This may also have impacted the other title bar buttons. Fix an issue where if the search indexer was hung, it could lead to file explorer also hanging. Fix an issue where the date for files and folders in home may be unexpectedly blank. Fix an issue which was impacting file explorer launch reliability. Fix an issue where if you had disconnected network drives when doing a search from home, it might prevent searches from executing and you'd remain on home. And also fix an issue causing file explorer to crash when moving or renaming certain files. Related to login and lock, Microsoft updated the web sign-in icon slightly to better align with the other icons when selecting 
a sighting option on the login screen related to windowing, Microsoft stop fixing an explorer.exe crash related to snap layouts, which could happen when dragging a window or hovering over the maximize button in a window related to windows update, Microsoft stop fixing an issue, which could result in you seeing a message asking you to reboot to install a cumulative update that was already installed. And they've also fixed the issue causing the toggle to get the latest updates as they're available inside windows update to not render correctly and is automatically turned off by itself. And finally, fixes related to settings, fix an issue causing the navigation pane entries to not be aligned correctly in the previous flight, fix an issue causing settings to crash for some insiders when going to system power and battery in the latest flights, and they also fix an issue where text in the advanced camera options in Bluetooth devices and then cameras wouldn't load correctly. And there is also a new known issue in this build related to widgets, Windows insiders in the European economic area with the new lock screen widget experience may see the weather widget temporarily unavailable. And this is basically the latest Windows 11 update for the dev channel. This is the first build with new features and fixes, as I've said, and the new build code 26200. So hopefully Microsoft will introduce new features that will also keep in mind what the general user wants from Windows 11. Of course, for more information, you can check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or Phantom of Earth on Twitter if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from Tech Base. Until next time, have a nice day.